Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. Siege. Welcome back to another episode in the Dying Light Zombie Survival Series. If you guys do enjoy today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? Salim! Salim, we need to talk! Go away! I'm armed, so you better get the hell out of here. You have to let Ida go! You mean that stupid woman? She's dead. She was infected, so I had to kill her. Now, her daughter says you have antizin. I don't know anything about this. It has nothing to do with me. Salim, I'm not leaving without her. Oh, yeah? So you want to have a party? How about I invite some more guests? Yeah. children and feed them to the volatiles. I'll crush you with my bare hands! Yeah, sit down. Yeah, nice try. You thought. I'll take all of that. God, what has he done to you? Take it easy, take it easy, you're free. Yes, Mina, my daughter. She went. She's safe, she's back at the village. Your son's still hiding at the house where you left him. What am I going to do? We can't stay in the village. Harun will throw us out again. You're going to take your kids and go to the tower. I want you to find a doctor there named Lena. Tell her that Crane says to take care of you, and that he'll make sure there's enough antizin for you and your daughter. You are Crane? Yeah, yeah, I'm Crane. Now go back to Jamil. He's waiting for you. Yasmina's with your sister. <sighs> Thank you for being kind to me. I didn't think there was any kindness left. Don't worry about it, I got you. Ow, 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 ow. 
Ow, ow, ow. We're popping off already, boys. God, give me all the pistols. That's right, surrender. <laughs> you actually thought you were going to get away, too. That's funny.
Oh my god! Oh my god. God damn it, that scared the shit out of me. Kareem, it's Crane. Oh Drop god. your weapon or you're dead. What the hell's your problem? This doesn't concern you. Sorry, Kareem, but Errol Asani is my concern. You're working for him? <laughs> You're a fool. I was his bodyguard, okay? After everything got fucked up and they built the wall, we got overrun. He got bitten on the leg. I took him to Randall, the only doctor I knew in the slums, and we cut it off, clean. It was the only way. He would have turned if we hadn't done it. But the stubborn bastard never forgave us. So, we parted ways. So why are you trying to track him down now? Early on, the authorities evac all the political bigwigs out of the zone. Errol told us there was a chopper on the way to take us out with him. Then he got bitten. And with all the shit that happened after that, we missed the flight. But after you turned on the transmitter, we heard Errol asking for evac. And a couple of days ago, somebody responded. From outside. The old bastards got a flight out, and I want a seat on it. Now, what about Rice? Does he care about this guy? Not a rat's ass. This was my business. I just want to get out of Haran. Yeah, well, looks like you won't be making that flight, huh? That had already dawned on me. But I'd like to walk out of here. Look, if I see you again, I'm gonna assume the worst. You got it? Fair enough. Good luck, Crane. You're going to need it. Did you find him? Yeah, no, he's not I coming back. Going to, but couldn't you talk some sense into him? No. So I'm gonna have to talk some sense into you. You want to save your son? You stop making weapons for rice and go to the tower. Now, your son said he'll give up being a runner if you'll join him. No, Thanks. no. Sooner or later, rice is going to tear that place down. It's not safe there. It's not safe anywhere, Alexi. And the question is, whose side are you on? See, right now you're on the wrong side, and your son doesn't want to have any part of it. You're right. He is ashamed of me. Well, then today's your lucky day. Okay. You win. What the? Sorry, Alexi. Rice is terminated. <laughs> you guys actually think you can stand against me. That's a good It was always just a matter of time before they would come for me. They may come to the tower eventually. Uh, they will. In my case, good luck, Rain. Did you find them? Yeah, I did. Kareem's take on losing your leg was a bit different than yours. So, you talked to him. Edward was right. You do talk too much. You should leave the talking to people like me, and I'll leave the killing to people like you. However... Karim was my bodyguard. He allowed me to get bitten, but I don't really blame him for that. Hey, he saved your life. By hacking off my leg? The morning I was bitten was the same day they began dropping suppressants. You understand? I told him the antigen drops would begin within hours. All they had to do was wait. Instead, he listened to that idiot doctor of his, and Karim held me down as the butcher chopped off my leg. Now he thinks I should fly him out of here. Well, I told him that's not gonna happen. You should have killed him. How about you leave the killing to people like me, huh? Quite right. I can get you out of here, Crane. Maybe I like it here. More likely you've made your own arrangements. Well, they won't work. You've been bitten. I can see it in your eyes. You'll never get past the NCUR quarantine. Past what? You see, you have no idea what's going on in the... You don't... In case you... Right, if I'm... Two things, and... I... I just... I just don't care. No. I just, I just don't. Some site nearby. You should look there. I'll tell you the next task when you've completed the first. All right, well, that is going to wrap up today's episode of the Dying Light Zombie Survival Series. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. and catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.